Hi friends, this is Steel Fairy, and you were probably wondering where I've been. Well, um, first let's just look at our team and decide who we're leading with, because we're going to have a boss battle, so that'll be fun. I'll lead with courage, because we're going into this with courage. <laughs> anyway, so, where I've been. Well, for one thing, um, this whole month of November, well, November of every year is National Novel Writing Month. So, as some of you know, I am a writer and I was participating in that. However, at the same time, unfortunately, shit kind of hit the fan at work and we lost a ton of employees at the same time so I've had to pick up more hours there and that has been cutting into my writing time so when I'm not at work I'm writing and therefore I had no time left to record so that's where I've been <laughs> I know that's a really long explanation, but like pretty much everything that could go wrong did go wrong this month. Um, I found out that my distributor for my ebooks is shutting down in January, so um, I have to reformat all of my ebooks for a new distributor now. So, but anyway, you didn't come here to hear me complain. You came here to hear me complain about this game. <laughs> Ugh, here we go again. It isn't so painful this time. Oh, what voice did I give her? I remember it was like a snotty girl, but I can't remember the exact inflection. Oh well. <sighs> Barry, are, are you alright? Oh, this is bad. Alicia? I'm fine. It's okay. Thank goodness! We have to get out of here! The ceiling is collapsing! Fairy! Whoa. That was way longer than any other flashback I've had so far. Where was I? Why was Alicia helping me? I guess the only answers lie with that guy up there on the hill. Famine. I'm coming to get you. Wait, didn't we already fight Famine? Or no, that was Pestilence. It's been a while, guys. <laughs> a very long while. And I did not come here to fight random encounters. I came here to fight the boss. Sorry, um, if you keep hearing my phone go off, my friend Do Knight is texting me about what a mess MAGFest is, which I'm sure all of you out there in the video game community have heard about. <laughs> the chef roared out a challenge. Yeah, basically, um, I think I told you guys already, but um, Do Night won two free tickets to MAGFest in a raffle, and we were going to go together, but MAGFest is having a really terrible situation with hotels, so now we're like not sure if we're going anymore, so I don't know. Um, I don't think we're gonna go. I'm probably gonna go to um, a J Fashion Mega Meet that weekend instead. And he and I can just go to another convention later on, like Katsukon or something, I don't know. <sighs> it's just a mess, <laughs> like I said. Okay. Ah, I was afraid of that. I should have healed up. Ah! Dumb sandstorm, okay. Super potion. Cool. I 
really hope that I can go back and heal after fighting both of these chefs. Whoop. Because I would really hate to have to fight Famine without healing up. Oh my god, he used rest. Well, time to do the thing. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I hate it when this kind of bull crap happens. Again, you came here to hear me complaining about this game, so there you have it. Okay, okay, give me that leech seed. Okay, cool. He flinched. Awesome. Yay! Okay. Gardevoir. Ooh. I will have to switch. I think Felicia knows Bite. Yeah, Intimidate really does a lot against a freaking Gardevoir. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that bite didn't do anything, but at least Scardivore flinched, so yay! Come on! Wow! These flinch hacks, though. I swear, secondary effects of attacks in this game have probably been risen by a lot because I've noticed so many times that the secondary effects happen way too often. But that's kind of what rom hacks do. The chef was cured of his formerness. What what happened? Okay, let's Munchie. I don't see um, Neon being very helpful since a lot of these chefs tend to have like Curlias and Gardevoirs, so you know. Poison is not a good matchup against Psychic. Just so you know. <laughs> Oh god. Wait. The Snorlax doesn't know Sleep Talk? I haven't seen him attacking me at all. There we go. Blah 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 blah. Sandstorm blah blah blah. There it is. Oh god, oh god. I swear, this is the only way I can fight these stupid Snorlaxes. Just give me the health. Oy. Okay, Neon, get some experience for what it's worth. Okay. There. <laughs> Just a tackle. That that's all that's needed. Okay. Felicia. By the way, I always really liked Gardevoir's cry. It sounds cool. Very elegant. Mysterious. Hmm. Okay. Let's do this. Because that special defense raise is, like, terrible. Sweet! Alright! 
nothing in that rock. Yay, I can go back and heal! This game is actually being nice to me. <laughs> I was afraid, like, with how unfair this game has been, that it would be like, oh, there's some sort of force field that came up behind you, so you can't go back and heal. Kind of deal. Like, not said like that, but something like that. Alrighty, let's go back. And not get stopped by a million things. Okay. You all ready for this? Hmm, what voice should I give Famine? Hmm. Oh, who's this then? I feel like that's too quiet. This is Fairy, sir. The one who's been causing me so much trouble. Uh, 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 I see. I don't know. I can't... I can't think of a good voice. What describes famine? Like, I want it to sound very weak. Like, dying. Because famine and hunger. But, I don't know. I can't really think of anything. And that one voice I was using was too quiet. Can't get picked up by my microphone because it's crap quality. I don't know, man. Ugh, he must be the one who defeated my sister and ruined our demon invasion in the West. If you don't mind me saying, you look very familiar. Have we met? I don't know. I lost my memory when you guys destroyed my town. Who are you? What do you want? And where's my brother in May? Oh, so many questions. <laughs> really is you. I never thought you'd survive that attack. As for your brother, well, you came to the right place. He was here once. He discovered my little pet, and would have defeated it had we not captured him and his friend in time. Where are they? Tell me! Fufu, you always were funny when angry. Lord Grave Trick. What a dumb name. Always used to like to say so. Bah! I've had enough of this. Alicia, destroy him! As you command, sir. That yellow text was really hard to read. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Sorry, fairy, but orders are orders. Alrighty. Hmm. A lot of my moves are not going to hit Sableye, but I have faith in courage. Fake out such a cheap shot, though. <laughs> I've been using it all the time in Pokemon Moon. Because I have um, the Alolan Persian that knows Fake Out, and oh my god. I named my Alolan Persian Hercules. I was naming all of my Pokemon in Pokemon Moon after Sailor Moon references, and um, Hercules was the name of the really fat cat in Season 1, so I thought it was fitting for Alolan Persian. <laughs> but Hercules has been a really, really um, good addition to the team. He's been... Knocking them down left and right. Yes, I will switch. Hmm. It's kind of weird because, um, Bayonet's sprite in Generation 3 is kind of floating. Whereas, in future depictions of Bayonet and games, like, it's always on the ground. I don't think it can actually fly in other iterations, but I'm not entirely sure. I 
I kind of stopped watching the anime after um, the advanced season. I tried to get back into the anime, like, um, I watched the tail end of the Generation 5 one when N was around and then they were like on a boat or whatever to the next region. And then I was watching X and Y for a little while, but I don't know, it just kind of got boring and I don't like Serena at all, so. <laughs> no offense to people who like Serena, I just thought she was kind of dull and they had that stupid cliche where she goes through some kind of bad experience and to show that she's changed and grown as a person, she cuts her hair and I freaking hate that cliche. It's in like every anime. Ugh. Sorry, I'm ranting. <laughs> like, you can try to have short hair all you want, Serena, but you're not going to be as cute as Misty, so sorry about it. <laughs> or May, for that matter. May is the cutest of the Pokey girls, in my humble opinion. I really like Lyra, too, but I don't think she ever made an appearance in the anime. I could be wrong, though. Oh, and everybody loves Crystal, because blue hair. <laughs> okay. I think I will actually have to change on this one. Love this music. Alright, let's see how fast we can take out Sneasel. <laughs> Aw, oh, I was hoping we would take it out in one hit, but hey, it's burned. So we'll get sandstorm damage and burn damage. That's really good. Alright, might as well just quick attack. Alright, this should take it out. wasn't as bad as I thought. I knew it. You always were better than me. Alicia, what is all this? Why does everyone know me? Who are you, really? Perhaps I ought to tell you after all. Go on. I... I don't know. I need to think about this. We've all worked so hard to make this attack real. Alicia! This is so frustrating. Every time I meet anyone, there are just more mysteries piling up. I have to get to the bottom of this, and find my brother. And for that, I'll need to find Famine and Alicia. Ooh, dramatic. Wait, what? Pokefun's ringing. Professor? Hi! Your Poképhone's tracker cut out for a while, a couple of hours ago, so I got worried. What happened? I was underground. Very deep underground. There were madmen and orange jade. Sounds like fun! No, no it wasn't. Anyway, what's happening now? I'm in the desert, where my brother supposedly discovered something. I've just met Famine of the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse, and that Alicia woman. I see. I'd tell you to keep searching, but I have a request. Yep. <laughs> what? Why would you say yep? I've been contacted by the good people of the Mountain Monastery. The what? Oh, you've lost your memory, right? The monastery was built on the site of Lava Ridge Town after Lava Ridge was destroyed by a volcanic eruption, 
Anyway, go there and tell a guy called Sage Kanzaki that I sent you. Okay then, what's this about, by the way? All in good time, fairy. Don't worry, it shouldn't be anything you can't handle. Click. Okay, I guess we are going to Lava Ridge Town. The question is, do we get there the old way? What? <laughs> this game is full of surprises. Okay, we want to go heal. And let's get out of this desert, finally. Come on. Okay, I'm just gonna... Well, I thought walking would prevent Pokemon from appearing, but apparently not. Okay. So let's get out of here. Care to battle? I need to build up my strength so I can get past those chefs in the desert. Apparently I hadn't been here before, which is weird. I thought I had. It's got some high-level Pokemon, though, so that's something. definitely don't want Swellow against Swellow, so we'll switch to Munchie. Okay. Oh, why didn't I use Slash? I'm such an idiot. Oh well, I it critted anyway. <laughs> Okay, he's a rich boy, but he gave me less money than other people I've been fighting, so... You know... Kinda mad. <laughs> Not really. Oop, we got another one. Hello. I need to train so I'm strong enough to get to do her. I mean... I guess that makes sense, because you do need a water Pokemon to get there. Sorry to kill you, smaller version of me. <laughs> there it is, the Pokemon everyone hates for no reason. I never understood that, like... Just because it's a pelican, people don't like Pelipper? seems kind of like an arbitrary reason to dislike a Pokemon, but whatever. I mean, it's not the best Pokemon in the world. It's certainly not really competitively viable, but, you know, it's not the worst. But who am I to say? All right, we've made it to the next area, surprisingly quickly. Anyway, I'm going to cut it off here, and I will see you guys in the next episode, where we will be heading to Lava Ridge Town to see what the monastery is. I guess that will be in the place of the hot springs there or something. I'm not entirely sure. We'll find out. Anyways, until next time, bye!